<laughs> Good evening, Rock Band. This is Brad. I'm Amy. I'm out. <laughs> Amy's Amy. incognito there. All right. <laughs> how? I don't even know how that happened. Wow. Oh. She's back. Oh, look at her fading in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she just wanted to make a great... Babe, this is not your show. Just oh. like in the movies. Just like in the not, movies. Not about me? No. My bad. Not yet. Not yet. I was told right. it was We are joined by Christian and Bob from Low Side. What's going on, gentlemen? Hey. We're up here right now. Have you? Around our headquarters. It's a right? Green room headquarters. Yeah. <laughs> in control. Green the green room at the green room. Look at that. Got <laughs> monitors and everything. Right. <laughs> yeah, don't pay attention to what's going on. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's all right. Hey, Christian, if we see anything, we'll let you know. Like, <laughs> top right hand corner, security. You know, yeah, I'll do that. we'll call it out for you. <laughs> Brought to you by Dos Equis. Uh, there you go. <laughs> hey, we're not afraid. We'll need some sponsors. Right? Unofficially. Dos Equis, <laughs> Crown, Shiner. There you go. Okay. Eleven wheels. Yeah. People got to eat. People. All right. So we got uh, people joining, obviously, as we get this shared out and uh, can join on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch to watch. So um, glad you guys could join us tonight. Thank you for making the time and uh, meeting with us. So glad pleasure. to be here. Yeah, pleasure. Thank you. Absolutely. So I want to talk to you guys. You know, you got the shows coming up in April. I'm kind of excited about that hang time show because it's just down the road from me here. Oh, great. So April 23rd at hang time. I've been there a couple of times. I haven't seen a show there. Uh, so may have to make it out but for that. You've been there, though, right? Oh, yeah. I've been there a couple of times. I get my hair cut at the place next door. <laughs> so I go in, get a haircut, go over, have a couple of beers before I head to the house. So. Yeah, it's a pretty cool place. Well, no, I was just saying, there's, you know, there's the stage, you know, uh, me and Tom, the owner, go way back. Nice. Uh, when I first moved here, he's one of the first people. When I first moved here, he actually gave me a job as a bar back, the worst bar back in history, I'll, I'll admit it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like he didn't want to fire me. I'm like, just fire me, dude. I know I suck. I was working with Billy Blair. Billy Blair was bartending at the time. Oh, wow. Where was this at? Where uh, Dangerous July Alley. July. No, uh, Serious Pizza. Serious, yeah. Serious Pizza. Serious Pizza. Yeah. July Alley. July Alley, yeah. Serious Pizza. Um, loose Change was nuts. Like, you had to walk up these uh, rickety ass stairs and play on this, like, balcony. I'm surprised the thing never caved in. Uh, but uh, a lot of bar <laughs> That's fights. awesome. A lot of bar fights. The bar would flood. Um, Tom is just a great guy, man, and I'm glad he kind of disappeared for a while, but he's back and he's got the he's got a uh, hang, hang time. time. He had yep. the elbow room for a while. Just yeah, great places. Cool. The guy who's just met, you know, good dude. He's just a good guy. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely if you, remember. If the you elbow. make it out, oh, yeah. if you make it out to hang time, especially on the 23rd of April, make sure to try the pizza. Yeah, Lake guys. people. Lake people oh. like. To now the uh, show oh, yeah. before that it is uh, April 8th at the Granada Theater. Which is the show that. that me and Mike are most excited about. Yep. Yeah, with, with, with Little Nino, Nino and Hedgehog. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. that'll, be a, that'll be a fun one. So we're excited Revolution about it. Revolution Empire on that as well. Very cool. Yes. Yeah, that ought to be a fun we one. We will definitely be there. Amy and I will be there without yeah. a doubt. Right. I might even work for you guys that night. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you guys sing for your dinner, huh? Yeah. Sing for your dinner. Sing for that dinner. <laughs> Come close on a black tooth contest with us, so oh, she can hang with oh man, you got you got to switch over some TX for me. Yeah. Can, can we make a black tooth with TX? Can it be like a a Texas <laughs> black tooth or something? Right. Texas tooth or something? <laughs> Wait, we'll work on it. Yeah. Black we'll, uh, no, okay. Come to green room at yeah. one point. And we'll we'll do tooth, some testing tooth. on that. You know, <laughs> so, so it's possible. You're saying there's a chance. Yeah. Go ahead and book your Uber now, Mikey. Go ahead and schedule it. <laughs> Two o'clock on the morning of uh, the 9th of April. Uh, well, Granada, uh, Granada will be, it's not too far. So I, I might even be able to sell. You might be able to hook that one, huh? I would say two is probably even early for us to get an Uber from that show. Oh, yeah. No, we'll be, we'll be there shutting down with the guys. Hopefully. Yeah. All right. Playing on that big day already, are you? 
as long as long yeah. as we don't get kicked out first. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. See you coming. So, let's talk talk a little bit more about low side. Christian, when did you guys get started? I know we've got several pieces of uh yeah, different bands, I, obviously. I started a, a good a few years before I joined the band. I, I joined in 2019. So uh three or four years in the band and uh but I think they were together uh, a few different lineups for a few years. But uh, uh, Bob was in the band uh, a couple years before me. Okay. Oh, and really? That's cool. Yeah. Ron, Darian, and Ken, have they basically been holding down the fort the whole time? Ken was uh, – Actually, you know, after me. Yeah, yeah when, I, when I first hooked up with Ron and Darren, we went through uh, – actually, they didn't have a drummer – or they just lost the guy or something. And um, I just left a band called Hush Money. Um, and I didn't really know any of the members except for the guitar player, Rob. But it was just, uh, it was Kess, this uh, girl from Australia moved here. Great, man, great vocals. She sings and plays. It's really great, you know, charisma. But the drummer I met, this guy, Chris Leach, and we just, you know, is that Insta, like we've been friends forever. You know, the chemistry was there. So I brought him, I brought him over to, to low side and it worked out. I mean, it worked out as long as it did. And then uh, we had a chance, I guess Ken wanted to um, rejoin. So, you know, as, as it happens in bands, members come and go. And um, sometimes it takes two or three times to find that right combination. I think they finally have it. I was, I was trying to elbow, elbow my way in that band for like two years. Yeah, right. <laughs> getting, getting, getting a hard no. Hold him off. Hold him off. And then the time I, by yeah. the time I finally gave up to be in the band, they yeah, asked me to know, join. So It's like you ask a girl out 500 times. And <laughs> right? gonna, yes. yeah. Yeah. We're on down. Why aren't you asking anymore? Now we're interested, right? Amy, let us know. What, 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 what's the deal with that? Yeah, how does that, what's that the oh, band? I don't. It's the challenge. That's a right? secret. We can't reveal those kind of secrets. That, that would just be rude to. <laughs> That's its own fellow. podcast, right? Amy? Oh you yeah, can, we yeah. don't have enough time for that. I don't want to be the ruler of that of breaking that secret to everyone. There's too many, too much red tape to go through. Nice, nice. Wake <laughs> up with your tires slashed. And- Sorry, yeah, exactly. Sorry, guys out there. And <laughs> we no tried. We tried. We tried. <laughs> that song that was real popular it was all about like slashing the guys like leather seats and. His tires and oh uh, yeah, was that Carrie Underwood? Yeah, was that it? yeah. You only do three tires though. Only three. Yeah, three. Insurance will pay if you do all four, but if you do three, insurance isn't going to pay for it. So you always slash three wow. tires. Damn, wow. there it is. There it is. <laughs> if you know when he fails and they know up. that rule, that's how you know she's crazy. <laughs> only chicks know that. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Damn. There's the the teaser for Amy's uh, crazy, crazy bitch podcast that uh, is coming out here soon. Jeez. Wow. <laughs> the things you learn on Deep Dell's hey, radio. Is, is that not common knowledge? Yeah. I had no idea. I Never thought everyone it. knew that. Yeah. Insurance will pay for four. They won't pay for three. Wow. All right. And there's a moment of silence there for all men. <laughs> right. <laughs> either just told a lot of women secret or a lot of women just learned that for the very first time. Yeah, either way, it's, it's very <laughs> beneficial. You yeah. see a lot of women's hands going, mm hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, now. you know, there's like, mm, girl, tell them. <laughs> tell them. Oh, Lord. All right. Let's get back on, <laughs> let's get back on track. Let's get back on track. Anyway, so low side. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the Granada Show. I'm super excited about both shows, but the Granada show, it's, it's, I'm like re uh, reconnecting with some bands that I've worked with in the past. So it's great. It's really good. I mean, it's a good one. I don't know. Uh, what's the other El Nino hit no, no, the other, the other band Empire. Uh, yeah, Empire. Throw it up there, Mike. Drowning Empire Pool? Or you, something. Ever, you ever heard of Drowning Pool? Oh, Empire's buddies of ours. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's Empire, uh, Evolution Empire. Empire. Oh, okay. Evolution Empire. I apologize. I do not know those guys. Not yeah. Double I Empire, which we just saw them last year. Yeah, they're great. Right? He does yeah. 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 Evolution, does anybody know much about Evolution Empire? Oh, I, I, I think I have heard them before, but I'm, I'm not. I think I looked them up. 
when I saw that they were on the field. Obviously, they, you know, is that is they're that off. not the Never Your Zero? The guy uh, is it not the singer from what's his name Chris from who was Never the singer zero. from Never Chris Your Zero? From Let, yes, I think that might be him. I, I will look it up just so that I'm okay. okay Amy, you gotta. Um, I'm on it. What's right. the Howard Stern girl? Robin. <laughs> Robin, you're a Robin. Look that up. Hold on, I'm looking it up. <laughs> so is, is that your Baba Booey up there? Or... <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? This one. Oh Lord. Oh yeah, that's gonna be fun. We'll have to find out if that's them for sure, because uh I know they had put out a single not too long ago, so they may be out promoting. So you guys are those the first two or the next two uh, those are the next two shows we have booked. Anything uh, you in May. Uh, I don't yeah. want to say anything about it because it's not confirmed, so I don't want to confuse anybody, but uh, we're really hoping that somebody will be ready to get off their ass and play a show in May, I've heard. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to call anybody out, but yeah, Brad, you're pointing exactly right. All right. Well, I, I'd like to point out also that we're getting married in May, so there's a couple weekends of- Okay, there's oh, also that. Vegas. That's that's Vegas, fair. Yeah. That might be um, difficult. That might not be in our hands. Vegas Mike, marriage. you are right. Vegas marriage. Chris Roberts is the front man. That's Chris's band. Of Evolution, Evolution Empire. Empire. So it was correct. I wasn't yeah. talking out my ass. Okay, good. Not this time. No more than usual. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> it, it took me a second, though. I was like, uh, because they're so tightly connected. Because uh, Darren was in uh mm -hmm. that band with chris roberts so and yeah. now both of their bands are empire and evolution, evolution empire, empire. So. okay yeah. like darren was in which band never used yeah i didn't know darren chris was in, in chris was in never your zero chris was i thought darren was in that band yeah darren was in band. yeah chris break my fall break my fall oh i thought you were talking about darren a lot i was like what okay oh no yeah not that sorry yeah Different, yeah, yeah different guitars. I picture Darren. <laughs> <laughs> There's too many Darrens, too many mics, right? <laughs> we can't all have Zillas at the end of our name. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just there's a Bob Zilla and a Robert Zilla. How'd y'all work that out? Not too long ago, Robert. Yeah. Robert from oh. uh, Mad Mexicans. That's the yeah. four. Really? Yeah. 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 He's Rob a Zilla. huge Godzilla fan, so he just kind of adopted it. All right, he's the formal. He's the formal. And guy. and he even became a bass player now. So you guys need to have a conversation. Wow. Next I'll have a Christian. You, you got yeah. you gotta be like I, I have a is on the that greatest dude. form of flattery, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sure, as long as he does he does it well, man. Okay, cool. You know, just he's do it well. Awesome. Yeah, Robert he's awesome. awesome. He's Robert cool Garza. Guy. He's the yeah. he's one of the singers from Mad Mexicans. Vocalists, I should say. Yeah, that's such a cool band. Yeah. I, 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 love I really love that. We band. played with them a few yeah. times. And they're a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Those guys throw they're a party, a party every time. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> to say the least. Oh <laughs> yeah. Panics now is what he told me. The angriest man. I guess <laughs> angriest. <laughs> I just <laughs> remember like <laughs> the livid Latinos. <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's oh, a man. good one, actually. I like that one the best. <laughs> <laughs> livid Latinos. <laughs> Live in Latinas. Latinas? <laughs> Latinas. Live in Latinas. It'll be the, it'll be the Mexican oh, tribute Latina band. Loca? Female, female Mexican tribute band. Yeah. The yeah. Mexicans. Live in Latinas. So I've got to warn you guys, at the hangout, at the hang time show, I'll be the guy walking around. Oh, nice. Fangirling, asking you guys to sign some vinyl for me. So <laughs> don't. Nice, nice. I'll be embarrassed enough for both of us, so don't worry about it. No, I grew up, you know, when I started playing guitar uh, in junior high. I, yeah. Uh, I was learning Lillian Axe songs, you know. Nice. Uh, so to be in a band with Ron Taylor now, now as I was, yeah. you know, as a kid growing up, learning to play guitar, uh, jamming all those songs, and being able to play a, a couple of them live is pretty cool. So That's awesome. It is yeah. a treat, man. I, I will say – you know, working with Ron. I mean, working with all these guys is great, but Ron, yeah, his his vocals are just amazing, incredible. Yeah. It's really, you know, and I won't hesitate to say it's made me a better singer. You know, just doing harmonies with them and his knowledge, man. It's his ear. It's it's got a great ear. Yes. Wow, it's oh, incredible. Yes. Sometimes it's like, damn. You have to be so good. Uh huh. He calls me out. <laughs> <little bit>. It's <laughs> like, uh, uh, wait, wait, uh, nope. And I'm like, okay, wow. 
You heard that. Right. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> it has been a treat. Seriously. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, there's nothing better than a great singer. I mean, come on. I mean, what it, you're like only as good as your lead singer and yeah, no drummer matter, and your singer. Yeah. No, no, no matter yeah. how good the rest of the band is, if your singer's bad, your yeah. drummer's bad, you're all yeah. bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you have a great drummer and a mediocre band, you can get get away with it. If you have a great you singer, can you can get away with it. Yeah. You know. Well, I should I should have talked to you guys way sooner. Right? <laughs> right? I, mean, geez, I could have right? made it big by now if he would have just talked to y'all. <laughs> First, right. <laughs> Mike, this whole time has been thinking it's the bass player. So, yeah, yeah, he's doubling up on bass players. Like, Let, <laughs> bass player, I need it. Get, have an, another one. Let me have another one. <laughs> yeah, he had two, but he got like a backup bass player. Two How many bases? I just nice. never really wrap my mind around that. What's the benefits of two bass players? There isn't one. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you. Here's the benefit to having two bass players: is that you'll have more likely have one at rehearsal. There you go. One. It gives uh, one, guy, one guy has an opportunity yeah. to say, "I can't so be right. here." <laughs> the truth comes out. Inner cores, inner okay. secrets. <laughs> Damn it, I said that on live. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, you did. Uh, so talk to us a little bit about new music. You guys got anything in the works? I know we've yeah, all we'll had ample there. time. We're doing some pre-production at our studio. At yeah. our studio at Universal Rehearsal. Uh, we're just going back in. I mean, we're finally, you know, nailing down some stuff. There was a, a lot of time we spent. Oh, Over the lockdown and a little after, we wrote most of those songs, I think. You know? you know, um I got I got COVID back in March. Ron got it. Right before that. Yeah. He was getting over it right the time you got it. So um, uh there was a lot of delays there with the band getting COVID and then trying to write and rehearse and then right. yeah. another yeah. person would get it, we'd get delayed, and then one person would get over it. So it took a little time, but we're we're anxious to get these things laid down and uh release to everybody because we're we're proud of them. Yeah. We're going we're excited. Uh, I'm excited. Yeah, we're totally excited. We're uh so we're just doing this, you know, uh, pre-production, and then we're gonna lock down a place to record it. Uh, we have a few things in mind, a few names in mind, a few people in mind. That you, I'm sure people are familiar with. Um, and we're just excited. We don't want to share too much right now, but um, it's in the works. Um, yeah, we're we're probably looking in here in a few weeks to to start yeah. start start it. So we're almost okay. done with pre-production. We we got yeah, one more I think, song uh, to patch up. And I, I think it's just down to me now to lay. All right, there you go. Yeah. yeah. The bass player. Yeah. yeah bass player. Bob yeah. is his homework. We'll be ready yeah, to go. Yeah, but I, hey, my dog ate it. But when I go in there, so it's really just, I need to go in there and uh, lay down my tracks and then uh, we'll, you know, start tweaking it. And I think uh, it's very soon, right around the yeah. corner. Oh. Right around the corner. Very cool. Looking forward to hearing it. So we've got the uh, 2012 album on this, because the self titled album. Yeah, but, uh, you guys put out. We do, uh, yeah. yeah, we do. Um, I um, there are some great songs on that. I will say, we do about three or four of those at least. Yeah. Here and now. Ah, uh, he put me on the spot. Uh, here and now. Uh, change my mind. Change my mind. So we do like three tracks off that, but it's a great yeah. album in itself. I mean, yeah. it, it is. Um, and the way it was like put together is pretty awesome. You know, it's. It's a tune. We're tuned down to C sharp and so hard sometimes, you know, it's really low tuning. But when I was in Damage Tribe, we tuned down to A sharp. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. That's like somewhere in the depths wow. like down here. But <laughs> it was what you want, I guess. Yeah. How low can you go? That's a half step down from B, right? Right. Right. From what? From for all, B? For all you, yeah. you uh, instrument players out there. <laughs> For all you, we, we, your strings hang down to your knees. All right. <laughs> well, they can. Well, that's how Mike's guitar always is. His whole guitar is always down at his knees. So I got long you arms, arms, man. Do you play that the low? The way that Mike uh, plays guitar. Sometimes, is... right now, currently, all of our our lowest song is in B, but we have like three or four songs. Well, I mean, in B. like your, your strap. You actually oh, play... my strap. Yeah, it's way down, dude. I probably play lower than most really? people. 
I know it yeah. looks cool. I've so never seen anyone it. put his guitar on. It is like down at. I like, have really right long goes. arms. It's so long. Uh, it's crazy. Dude, that reminds me so, of a story. If I could tell a story really quick. Absolutely. Tell the story, bro. I was in Cabo for Sammy Hagar's birthday with, with Vinny. And, uh, you know, you go up, like, if you go to Cabo Wabo, it's like Sammy and Mike, you know, Mike Anthony. And Dick it's just kind of a yeah. Satriani kind of a, out there with them. You never know who's going to be there. Yeah. So Vinny was there. So it was just kind of like this free-for-all jam, you know. Um, and I got up there to do a couple songs. And uh, Michael's on stage, and he's like, and he points at me, and he's like, come on up. You know, he's giving me the green light. So I go up there, and I go to put his face on, dude, and it's like oh. right here. Well, he's like, hey, <laughs> <laughs> he's like level the base. <laughs> he's straight out of the shire, you know, he's like, you know. <laughs> So it's like right here, and he's laughing at me. And so I, I'm like, man, can I can I fuck with your strap? So I like, <laughs> it's just like yeah. and even at its full length, it drops down to about right here. Yeah. Trying to beat yeah. <laughs> Not all straps are created equal, bro. <laughs> like, really? like, the most comfortable. I mean, I would get yeah, just I could play great. I know, was just here. ripping yeah. on it. If I could get away with it, I would play like yeah, that all it's the much time. Easier. Like, uh, I'm not in a prog rock cool. band. You know, I'm not like. <laughs> yeah. I mean, A, A, I will say, A, it looks cooler lower. Yeah. But B, I, I have these massive arms. I mean, orangutan like, arms. Like, they're super freaking oh long. I think I saw you at Fort Worth. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, <laughs> y'all received a Mikey B hug. Those arms, like, <laughs> they wrap around you close twice. you. Y'all both know what I'm talking about. I'm hugging right? myself the and Mikey you B at the hug. same time. <laughs> oh, you can, yeah, you got some reach. Yeah. yeah, it's 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 shocking sometimes. Amy's like, "What's your hand over here?" <laughs> well, guys, I mean, well, careful now. Those guys are, are so awesome, Sammy. I mean, wow, it's he it's seems so... real cool. Oh, I'd love to hang out with that dude. Michael Anthony store. Oh yeah, go ahead. All right, I have so, one I, of those too. I, I go to Nam with Bob, uh, 15, 2015, 16 a few years ago for the first time. So on the way on the plane ride out there to LA, Bob's like. Hey man, I'm gonna introduce you to a bunch of rock stars. Here's two rules and don't break them. I was like, all right, what do you got? He goes, number one, no autographs. I'm like, okay, I'm not, I'm not an autograph person. Uh, number two, no pictures. I was like, all right, who's he gonna introduce me to that I wanna take a picture with? Well, lo and behold, here comes Michael Anthony. All right, and he has four. Foot I love Michael Anthony. Yeah, what a great guy. And uh, he comes up, and they, Bob and them hug each other. And uh, long story short, Bob turns around and I'm talking to him. We're, having some drinks and uh i see bob turn his back to me and i'm like hey michael real quick selfie me and you he goes, absolutely you know, so, so i up the, <laughs> <laughs> the first <laughs> rule you don't break bob, the you rules. already <laughs> have broken the bob rules around with this just evil look at me and i'm holding the phone like and michael's looking at me and bob's looking at me, like, all right i can't he just kind of michael looks at me and he looks at bob and he goes <laughs> Michael says to Bob, you told him no pictures, didn't you? That was awesome. And they hug. Well, then a group of people come up, and they want their picture taken with Bob and Michael. Mike, and see they, what you then they make me take the picture. Ha! Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't uh, the photo, yeah. and I'm like, yeah. So, so you've taken a picture with Michael Anthony, or I should say of Michael Anthony. Yeah, yeah. So the only way you'll make me drool is if you tell me that they were chicken foot was playing with Michael Anthony Badge. and Snatriani. Oh, damn. I yeah. think, no, I think when you guys were in Cabo. Was on the pool, and I think it was Richie Sanford. Oh, at Cabo, no. At Cabo. Oh, man, I would, I would, I'd be in hog heaven. <laughs> I wouldn't care. Vic Johnson on guitar, I'd have been happy. Well, yeah. So, yeah. was it That's the great. Jack Daniels bass? Yeah. Wait, Bob? Anthony. No, was, no, no. It was, uh, okay, Michael. okay. It was, uh, he, he just, uh, he had a deal He's got with, that new Dean, right? Is it a Dean that he's playing now? Music Man. I think it was Music Man, or, um. Maybe it was Dean. I think it's a Dean that he plays that he's got. I'm sorry for nerding out here on some tech, but I think he's <laughs> got. Like, me. Go ahead. Yeah, man. I think it's like he, it's a custom and it, and it kind of looks like it's been, you know, beat up a little bit. And, and it's like oh, kind of an industrial look to it. Yeah, distressed with like an industrial look. I, I checked it out. I watched the video on it. It's pretty cool. It was a big body. It's a big body bass, which I prefer. You know, that's that's what I like, you know. Um, four string. Four string and both, you know, four or five. Um, I don't have enough four strings, you know, but I do have, uh, I don't know, do we ever have too many guitars? I, I don't know. Uh, 
That's Amy a, says yes, but she's I, outnumbered. There is a point. I, a, a point. I love guitars. You're talking wrong guy. <laughs> Mike doesn't think that you can have enough playing, guitars. I, I just want them all, man. Like I want them all. I want every single one, one of, of each. One of each. I know. Yeah, I got He's a question. He's working on it. I'm quarter with the guitars. I, you buy a new one, but you don't sell the old one. Yeah, yeah. No, keep it. ever. Not unless you just don't like it. Exactly. If you don't, like, or like you if somebody special thinking that. Uh, Even yeah. the ones that he said he doesn't like, like he says he's going to sell and he does not sell them. So yeah. I don't know what you mean of you sell them because you don't like them. No, there's like a bonding thing. Like you play one and then like you, if you can in your mind or feeling, if you think that there's a, a niche that at some point in time you'll use that and it would be great for this thing. That's, then, hoarder, <laughs> that's hoarder mentality right there. <laughs> I've seen it. This okay, happened. I might need it. I okay. might need it. Someday. I've seen this happen one time that he sold a guitar. The black PRS that you bought at the guitar show the first time that we ever went together. I didn't bond with it. It hurt my hands. But to that play. was the only time that I've ever seen you sell a guitar that you were like, I didn't bond with it. Yeah. Amy, it's classic I, misdirection. He's like, Yeah, I probably need to get rid of a couple of these. And I then actually when you're not looking, he goes and brings another one in. Yeah. <laughs> that's actually what happened. God, I, I traded that one in, or I sold that guess. one to my rhythm guitar player. You heard of a place called Killer Vintage? Uh uh. Where's Killer that? Vintage Guitars. It's, is that uh, that's not the one in Garland, is it? No, it's actually near Highland Park. It's like off of Lemon. Okay. And oh God. Too close to and I'm sorry, I'm telling him this because if you go there, you're done. You're done. <laughs> oh, you're done. <laughs> Oh, wait till after anymore. the wedding, Mike. Wait till after the wedding. He yes. has to wait until okay. at, at minimum, I would after say July wedding. of after 2022. I don't even want to give him yeah. June because if I give him June, it, he'll uh, give him an inch, he'll take a mile. There's a, there is a guitar <laughs> on the wedding registry for everyone out there that's on Amazon. <laughs> I wish okay. that was a joke. It's, it's not at all. <laughs> I'll get you the replica. The little... Right? Can we all throw in like fifty bucks toward it? And yes, oh, yeah, it's a group. It's it. set up for group it's buy. <laughs> Genius. Gonna have started so GoFundMe for that guitar. All right. right. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm right. okay with all of these things. Christian, what do you uh, about that guitar? If if somebody will buy it or contribute, contribute to toward it. it. Yeah. All right, Christian. What do you play? Uh, uh Charvels. Uh, I've got a few favorites that are my main guitars. Jackson, an old Jackson. I uh, kind of fell in love with the, the old early 80s Jackson Charvel necks. Uh, so I kind of hot rod them out with different bodies, kind of relic bodies. And uh, I play a few Les Pauls as well. So Charvel Jackson and Les Pauls. And uh, uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> so there's a story about my Les Paul. Uh huh. Uh, you know, among guitar players, I think Michael understand this. Uh, you know, it's kind of well, sacrilegious you know. to have a Floyd Rose on a, on a Les Paul. Right, it's not common. It, anyway. So uh, first time, you know, unless you play for Rush, he's like shaking his head, going, "That's that's sacrilegious. That's that's not right." Kind of gay looking, kind of gay. So uh, it worked, uh, but yeah, he gave me a hard time about it. And then when he played it, heard the way it sounded, he fell in love with it. So well, it turns out it was the Alex Lifeson model. Right? Yeah, <laughs> as I called it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm a Rush fan. Oh yeah, hell yeah, I love Rush, man. I always have. Oh, it's awesome. Way back uh, I, it's his favorite band too. I, wink, wink. No, I respect his <laughs> positions. I didn't, I didn't it. Yeah. And, yeah. and now you guys can see why we just hang out and talk gear. We could do this for all yeah. the oh, Mikey B's totally gear talk. Entire yeah. show. Just your nerd talk. Show. Hey, your nerd's hanging out. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just got the nuts. I think it's not time. So pause for the cause. Time. Anyone who's watching, uh, there's some comments on here. Um, hang on. Well, Alan said he enjoyed you guys. Okay. Uh, where's, what's up? What's up, Alan? And Okay. Yeah, awesome. let's get some questions out there. So, uh, out there, somebody ask a question. You kind of veered off the, you know, the path. Yeah, that's we're okay. paying attention to it. Yeah. See if Alan's got any questions for you guys. I know uh, I was talking to you, you guys know Doug Satchery. You know Tony oh, Satchery's, yeah, right? Yeah. The seasoning. He was asking. Oh. He was like, who are these guys? <laughs> that shit's great on everything. Yes, that's yeah. the guy. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Doug. Well, cheers to Doug and everybody listening, watching, whatever you're doing. Um, cheers. 
right. Cheers. Cheers, guys. But back to um, before Christian, you know, joined the band. When I saw him with uh, the late great Joey C. Jones, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. he had this amazing tone, dude. He had amazing tone, and uh, I'm like, wow, what is he using? And then I took a peek and I saw a GK, uh, horse head, head, yeah, and uh, he's in Kettner, and he was AB box and running stereo. It just had like this great sound. So when he when we got him to join low side, I couldn't wait for him to incorporate that in the band. And he shows up with all brand new gear. And I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? He's like, oh yeah, check out. I just got this new diesel rig, dude. I'm like, no. We wanted the no. tone. Oh, yeah, I thought it would fit better and it was a major fail. Yeah. Uh so, well. I've gone back to my a little bit of my old sound. But, and he was uh, also using the Steinberger guitar, which uh, I, I tried that. playing a Steinberger bass. Couldn't do it. Hated it. Didn't work for me. And I thought, you know, when I saw him playing that, I was blown away, man. And that thing sounds so killer. Yeah, you don't see him much anymore. But uh, uh, a friend of mine that played with Joey back in the day in his band Shock 2, Rick Soga, uh, I'd always <laughs> admired his and the way his sounded. And uh, it was actually I had the opportunity to buy buy one of his. And, and uh, they're, they're great guitars. I don't know how they take off. I know they kind of look funky with no headstock, but uh, they sound and play great. The, the molds as long are, as you don't take a picture of it without the headstock, you're fine. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, they use the mold of a 58 Les Paul, and it's graphite, so it's it plays like butter. It sounds great. And I'm thinking about bringing it back. No, you don't see anybody using those anymore. That thing, so, man, it sounds uh, so good. Wow. I was just blown away how good it sounds. Uh, and we had some guys ask when you guys were playing next. We, I think we handled that. They're playing April 8th comments. at Granada. I mean, if, and, you uh, touch more on, if, if you want to touch more on the bands on that, on that bill, we could, you know, um, there's some great, like head PE and, you know, the Johnny pool guys. Wow. Oh, yeah. Head PE awesome, is so guys. cool, man. What's the thing that he uses? He's like, he like made it himself, right? Like he like this, it's like a keyboard flute. Thing you know what I'm talking about? Did he actually make it himself? Yeah, he sells them. He he will sell. He sells them on their website. Oh wow! Really? No, uh, the the singer from Head P. Oh yeah. okay, yeah. It's pretty cool. Long. It's like a didjeridoo thingy, bobber. I don't know. We'll, look this up too. My yes, Amy, come in with it. the stats. <laughs> All right, <laughs> yes. go get it, Robin. Go get Check it. it. <laughs> get it. All right, looks like Doug will be at the April eighth show at the Granada. Back we're gonna bring some satries, right? Some Cajun with us. Bring the Cajun. Of course, the you know the drowning pool guys, man. So much history there. It's, uh, it's, been, it's great. Yeah. And congrats uh, to um, CJ's little brother. You know, uh, Jacob. For Jacob, Jacob for Pierce. baby yep. and marriage and everything. Both of them. They have babies back to back. Yeah. 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 Little yeah. baby makers. Yeah. Little baby makers. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Yep. Beautiful yeah. babies. Oh, and Elaine is at home with the babies while CJ's out on tour. I think I saw yeah. where he uh, flew home on a surprise trip. Yep, it was their anniversary. So we the anniversary, to yeah. Spend yeah. a little time that's with the missus. That's yeah. awesome. That's so wow! What a surprise! That's yeah. That's that cool. going dead, so I'm gonna charge it. Up. Super cool. Uh, yeah, I talked to him today because uh, we're you know we we're talking about wedding stuff or whatever because we're both yeah. he's getting married shortly. I think right after us, right, Amy. To, uh, she hasn't said any more details about it. I started talking to her about the bachelorette party today, so bachelorette party. Oh, yeah, boy. Elena is all so CJ's the best man in the wedding, but Elena is also a bridesmaid. So I was letting her know that we're doing a uh, bachelorette April fifteenth and all the fun things that come along with that. <laughs> yeah, she's super cool. I really like her. Oh yeah, she's awesome. Here and. Uh, what what a cool rock and roll wife and the way she handles things and yeah, uh, just yeah. a great person all the way around. But she's got it down on the rock and roll lifestyle and how to handle. She knows it. she knows how to keep everything. I mean, she keeps him unlocked, but she knows how to have a good time just as much as he does. So yeah. he's, right, he's right. a complete badass. Yeah, it does take a special breed, you know, to make it work. You know, deal just and dating any kind of musician, whether it be on the 
the lower level of a local musician to the the point that Drowning Pool's at and, and Elena, it is it's definitely a special breed to to date yeah. a musician in general. <laughs> My yeah, wife, especially. Really. Thank you. She's yes. very cool. Do, right? It's it's so crazy. He's like lit he literally just texted me right now. He's like, I because he was supposed we we're supposed to call about that talk about that stuff after you guys. So huh? he's like, I'm oh, on yeah. East Coast. I guess he's on East Coast time. Yeah, they're at East Coast. So I our fourth. Oh, somewhere with it. Yeah, our fourth Jeremy Peoples is actually driving one of the tour buses for that show. So oh really, Who's Jeremy? That? Go ahead. Yeah, I think he's driving for head. Is it head PE that he's driving? Yeah, he's for? he. But, and I think he's uh, helping it was everybody. El Nino. He used El to Nino. work in here for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. real good guy. He's driving. Yeah, That's what he said. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Yeah, he's driving one of the buses. He uh he would have been here tonight, but he uh is on the East Coast. He shoots yeah. shoots his pictures every once in a while of load in, load out, or himself on the beach or yeah. whatever it might be. So I think yeah. I saw some Facebook posts earlier today. Yeah. 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 Well, I, mean, I didn't find what you're talking about, but I did find like three tank tops that I want to buy from MP. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> put them on. Put them on the re registry, honey. I'm not yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> I'll throw five bucks in toward one, Amy. Just make it a group effort. So. <laughs> okay. We can group Get effort on a guitar. Top. We can group effort on a tank top for me. <laughs> right. Hey, look. There's Doug. Doug Doug's Doug's in the Doug. house. Yeah, I'm talk sure. about them and then they show up. What's going right? On? May have to make that April eighth show now. Let's go see Doug. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. Granada is such a great venue. Yeah, I've never last time there. Uh, saw a few a few good shows there, but uh, never actually played the the venue. And it's been a while since I've seen a show. I think Social Distortion back in about ten years ago was the last time I went there. Oh man, um, what a great show that was! I it bet. was a great show. Yeah. yeah. I saw a butthole surface there one time. I was oh, I yeah? just want to say that on air. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> wow, how long ago was that? Oh man. Oh, it had to have been like eight, nine years ago. <sighs> yeah, it had to have been like eight, nine years ago. That was killer, man. I bet. I bet. He had this like thing on stage, like the singer he was doing all the effects on and everything. I, I don't know, some kind of board. was it like a keyboard recorder? Chaos. Or? He had like a chaos pad. With like, I know nobody knows what that is, but freaking, it was insane. I know, I know what it is. Yeah, <laughs> I used to DJ back in the day. I'm kidding. DJ Zilla, so kidding. <laughs> DJ Zilla. DJ Zilla. <laughs> was back in his. We played for Vanilla Ice, so he'd do the oh, yeah, after party. Yeah, yeah. He, DJ Zilla would spin. Yeah, DJ Zilla would. DJ throw Zilla. <laughs> no, I did not. That never happened. But I you did didn't play, play with Clinton Robbie. No. <laughs> No, when when I got hooked up with Robbie, Clint had just split, so uh, we got seven. Antonopoulos, huh? Antonopoulos, and then Rem. Oh yeah, seven. Uh, yeah, we just he has that wine testing thing now or tasting. Yeah, the canned can wine. wine. Yeah, the yeah. canned wine channel. Um, yeah, he's cool. And then Rem, who, uh, in fact, he texts for like, did he text for? He's with the Deftones right now, but he does like the Deftones. He does uh, Tom Morello, Billy Idol, uh, Billy Idol, Jerry Cantrell. He does in me yeah. <laughs> and the great Christian bear. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so cheers to all the, cheers to all the texts that make it happen. Yeah. You know, the roadies and the tax, you know, it's, I always raise one for them. Wow. Cause they're, you know, it like wouldn't happen like, without them. I, yeah. I never get any appreciation over here, but, but. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nobody appreciate appreciate just you. Poor little old Mikey oh, and his gorilla arms. He's over yeah. here slaving away. Yeah. <laughs> With his, no his long arms, you know. It's... <laughs> so <laughs> now, be... the next time I see you in person, I'm you're gonna be right. You know, this... We're gonna hug, but I'm gonna. Wrap my arms around you. Three yeah, times. Yeah, I'll I'll twice. Twice. Hug us twice. Yeah, I'd be like, here, come get this. Come get it. Yeah, come get it. Come get it. Come get it. Well, we already know when that's going to be. That's April 8th. So. April 8th. There you go. Yeah, that's, hey, that's the next time we're going to see y'all. I was saying, exactly. you don't think we'll see each other before then? The most memorable the show. Sure, I'm sure we'll see each other before. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Said, uh, stay, stay tuned. Go to uh, www.lowside.net and we'll have a. Uh, some updated uh, or shows coming up. If you want to buy merch, uh, feel free to low side. Email. Four, seven, what is it? Well, I think you just go to the low side net and, and then it goes to me yeah. on an email. So uh, look at, look at our merch and all. 
hook you up with a, a bundle package. Yeah. A bundle package. Ooh, Ooh, what is that? You What's in that? What's you in get a hoodie, package? you get a three quarter sleeve, and uh, a bunch of goodies, stickers. Wow. Yeah. So I haven't put that on there yet, but give me some time and we'll we'll have that we'll have that fixed up for you. But uh-huh. the uh, are we on? Yeah, there it is. Okay. There you go. Oh, it's on there. Huh? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Make sure I do get... like the uh, baseball tee. Mike, I called it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, we yeah, actually have new pieces. designs coming, new uh, new pieces in the works. Um, yeah. So um, here's a little trivia with our logo. Uh, the circle logo. Yeah. I've asked uh, everyone what they see when they look at that, and I get goat heads. And- I get like a lot of animals, <laughs> insects, <laughs> but I guess I can reveal it. Like the secret now, I mean, it's been long enough. Um, basically, it's just a it's a mirror image of two letters L and S. So if you look, oh, on the right, oh. That's I do. and that's it. So it has a uh, meaning to it, even though. Yes, but that's I, awesome. I see, I see, you know, ovaries. I'm like, okay, you see what you want to see. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. Oh, <laughs> I don't see that. Christian's <laughs> grandmother is watching, so I'm sorry. Uh, sorry grandma. Grandma. Uh, I was getting grandma. right. I was getting Donnie Darko vibes, so I'm glad you explained it for us. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, that's hey, freaking hilarious. Kind of like a Rorschach thing, you know. You see what you want to see. Somebody yeah. just typed in the Yamaha logo is what they see. Alan. Alan there you go. Yamaha. <laughs> All right. Got a bike rider or a. All right. Well, hopefully, right. we'll sell some bundles for you guys. We could have yeah. done a contest, but you guys let it out of the bag. Yeah, what do you <laughs> <laughs> we almost we almost could have done a contest. Guess what the logo means. Yep. Logo you get to, you get ten percent off of your uh, if you buy ten tickets to the show. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> you have to pay for my bar tab. Ten percent off ten tickets. Do you guys have but tickets? Only off for one the... of the tickets do you get ten percent. You guys have tickets for the Granada show? Uh, no, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Um, like, we need tickets for that. Some of us do, Mikey. Sorry. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. I think they have plenty of tickets right there at the, at the door. Yeah. yeah, we're not selling on our website or Facebook page, so it's not really our know. deal. It's their deal. So, uh, yeah. Johnny Cole yeah. website or the the Granada website. I'm sure you'll be able to pick them up there. We will definitely post uh, some information about that, all that stuff on Deep Dallas Radio as well. So we'll get you awesome. some links and we'll follow up with that with anybody. Anybody can always message us at uh, Deep Dallas Radio at gmail.com as well. Any yeah. questions? Yeah, we should have a good turnout for that show for sure. Mm-hmm. That's going to be yeah, a part of it. And I can't wait. I can't wait. It's, uh... you know, I'm... I hate to say it, but I don't. I'm not 100 percent sure if I've ever played the Granada. I think I did. Yeah, I think I'm sure. I'm sure I have. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, the last um, show I remember seeing there was um, uh, Doyle Bramall, I think, or um, which was amazing, amazing. If you've ever heard of the guy, you know, Doyle. I Doyle from Misfits. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Doyle rules. I knew that's what he was going to say. God, I could have like called that. Yeah, Man. it's meant to be. She called. It. All right. I wish I would have said five bucks says six says. and learn it over to him. Oh, God, I'm almost embarrassed. I know what you're talking about. I know. What you're yes. <laughs> Think we all do. I uh, so we have we have, upcoming. We have a show. We have a show. Uh, uh, another guest coming on soon, and it was one of the one one of the biggest, most memorable shows I saw at Granada, which was uh, the guy that taught me guitar, Bugs Henderson, and uh, the guy that got up with him was Andy Timmons, and we actually have him up. Uh, he's, he's coming on the show in a few weeks. Just recently, the last time I saw him was uh, at, on stage. Yeah, on stage at the um, Lava Cantina. Cantina. Yeah, that oh, whole man. Yeah, Buddy Blaze, God bless Buddy you. Blaze, man. Blaze, Buddy Blaze, yeah. uh, his memorial Blaze. was at Lava, and he had a bunch of great players up there. And uh, was we so went good. out there, and I was actually supposed to jam with him, and I, I, uh, say I did. It. Say I, it. I, I, did, I didn't know it was him. I was passing up. 
uh, Joyce's oh. wife asked me to, to, to jam at the show. Yeah. And I, you know, I, I'm honored. I appreciate it. But, uh, I just, at the time I had a bunch of stuff going on and I, I didn't want to stress out about playing a show. I wanted to go and enjoy the show and visit right. with my friends. Well, after the show, I'm up on stage talking with Andy Timmons, and he goes, you're Christian. Christian, you're supposed to play with us tonight. He goes, there's your rig right there. And my heart just dropped. Oh, and I was like, God. Wow, I just passed up an opportunity to jam with, play with Andy Timmons. Andy Timmons. Uh, uh, Andy Timmons is amazing. And Sam Van Holt for Pastor Pussycat at the same time. That would have been a lifelong dream, and I squashed it without even knowing. Ooh. Yeah, you never know. Shame on you. It right. was. It was. Bob, Bob kept telling me, yeah, you, you, you know – what was that uh, movie? Uh... You know, you done fucked up now, yeah. don't you? <laughs> yeah. All right, so so here's 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 what we're gonna say is that we're gonna have him on. What day is that? We're having him on April sixth. April sixth. Andy is... Timmons. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's yeah. interviewing April sixth, and uh, yeah. so my first uh, introduction to Deep Ellum, sorry to cut you off, uh, was back in the late '80s, early '90s, when there's a place called On the Rocks. You don't remember that place? Yep. It was over there where Connie Rosso is right now. Uh-huh. And uh, yeah, so across the street, there was a place called Blue Cat Blues. Yep. Andy Timmons would play there. First place I ever played. There. Yeah, we'd go over there and watch Andy Timmons play, and he'd just blow you away. And then we'd go to rock show and on the rocks, you know, afterwards. Yeah. So that was my introduction to Deep Which Ellum. ended up being Texas Tea House, right? Texas uh, Tea House. No, the Red Blood Club right now is where. No, no, no. Not not the Blue Cat, but the one you're talking about being at that was Connie Rosso ended up on being the Texas Tea House. Okay, I think you're right. Yeah. yeah. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, and uh, it's the guy that did The Rock. Yeah. What was the guy? Uh, Louis. Louis. Uh, Louis. Ron, Ron, Louis, Marcus. Yeah, Louis. It was definitely Louis. Yeah. Yeah, and, he did yeah. sound or, or booking. Yeah, he did sound at, at The Rock, if you guys remember yeah. that. Yeah, so all three of those guys, sound guy, owner, and GM, uh, moved on The Rock on Main Street in the early 90s. So Yeah, uh, that, was again, that was my introduction to Deep Ellum in 89, 90. You know, coming out Thanks. here and uh, seeing rock shows and seeing what the neighborhood was about. Little did I know, thirty years later, I'd be out here, yeah. still <laughs> running, running a bar down here, running the yeah. show. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, for those of you who don't know, go to Green Room, right? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah we could have a two for on this interview because we have a band plus we have a local business owner, venue owner. Yeah. There you go. Uh, tattoo and- art. We're talking about tattoos, right? Tattoo yeah. artist, Bob. So it's, a, yeah. it's actually a threeper. So we have yeah, a, a local yeah, tattoo Springs, artist. Uh, Cedar Springs tattoo. Yeah. Cedar Springs tattoo. Yeah. Cedar Springs tattoo. Cedar Springs. Thank you for not calling it a threesome, Amy. Threeper. Threeper. Yes, huh? threeper. I like that better. I like that better. <laughs> I thought you might. Get with Appreciate it. Need a new lingo. Threepers. Yes. <laughs> Two furs. Three furs. So, Christian, I have to ask because I know of the news recently about his passing, but how did you get started and plugged in with Joey C. Jones? You know, uh, my brother was in a band, Scott Baird, um, back in that time, the, the mid eighties, late eighties and uh, sweet savage. Yeah. Joey was running at the time with Joey. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go back even further. The first band I ever saw at a club, real band was sweet savage. I was a freshman in high school and I was blown away. I was just, these guys are Poison and Cinderella and Motley Crue all in one. You know, they had the yeah. look. And Joey, the front man, and Chris Sheridan, the great guitar player. and They just looked so cool. They looked like rock stars in a club. Uh, so fast forward a few years, you know, my brother were rock stars. You friend them. And again, kind of like the Lillian Axe story, you know, I'm, as I'm learning to play guitar, I'm learning to play Lillian Axe songs. I'm learning to play Sweet Savage songs. You know, and then years later, uh, I, you know, I'd stayed pretty good friends with Joey over the years. Uh, and he was doing like an impromptu Christmas show of a bunch of covers one Christmas. Uh, this was probably eight, 10 years ago. So I show up in Arlington and I forget the name of the place. And he goes, Hey man, get up and, and jam a song with me. I'm like, Oh shit. I've never been in a band. I've never played on stage. Uh, okay, sure. Uh, yeah. So I get up and I think, I think it's an ACDC song shot down in flames and I, I'd nail it. And Joey's like, you're my new guitar player. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. no. I'm like, I didn't commit to that. Players, all right. <laughs> he kept on and on. And I'm like, man, I'm not good enough to be your guitar yeah. player. You know, I think I was the time. And uh, a few years after I got the green room going, I had a little little free time after that. And so uh, I kind of fell into it. 
And at the time, I, w- I wasn't ready, but I grew into it after about a year or two. And yeah. uh, what a pleasure to sing or to play with Joey C. Jones. Uh, great friend, great musician, and uh, I learned a lot from him. We, 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 we wrote a five-song EP that's out. And uh, to, be, to play with your heroes you know, as, as a kid has just yeah. been a real blessing. You know, to play yeah. with two of the best singers in Dallas, I think, is Joey C. Jones and Ron Taylor. And for me to be able to play with these guys is amazing. Been a uh, a real treat, you know. That's awesome. And, uh, and amazing Joey, guys. But... Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, Joey, that's what I just, makes. Uh, um, I miss him so much already. It's been about a week or so, and uh, yeah, uh, yeah. It's uh, been very cool. Yeah, cool. and I don't mean to throw uh, any fire no, on that, but it was the you know the the, the gasoline Mitchell. on that too. But like you know the uh, Solinger also. You know. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't know. we got to do that as well. I think you were there at Trees. Uh, I, you know, uh, I was I'd never met him before, but I, uh, I know a lot about him being in Skid Row and uh, mm-hmm. Solinger growing up, and we got the opportunity about a year ago. Uh, hey man, we're doing this benefit, pausing the city. Our, our, our good friend. Yeah. Uh, that that Mark does Verna. that. Mark Verna. Mark. Mark. Yeah. Mark, and, and Mark. Uh, he goes, hey man, Johnny Solinger wants you to be his backup man. I'm like, oh wow, how Amazing. cool is this? And I'm, I'm a big Skid Row fan, so I was like, yeah. "All right, we're gonna play ten Skid Row songs," and that got axed. You know, <laughs> <laughs> got Lillian axed. Yeah, right. uh, so we did two, and what a sweet guy! Uh, he, he he was sick at the time, and we didn't know mm-hmm. it until he got here. And then, uh, but what a what a special time it was to to meet him and hang out with him and play a show with him, and uh, what just a great guy. You know, that was the final yeah. show too, right? That was his last show yeah. that he did. So, we played with. Wow. And I'm uh, sorry to get all. No, go ahead. Uh, to uh, add on. So we had gone over to green room to eat. And I mean, I had met Johnny a couple of times through Mark. And so we're sitting down at one of those tables right in front of the bar, eating our dinner before we go back to the show. And Johnny happened to be sitting at the table right behind us. And I heard him saying just what a, like the hospitality in at both green room and at trees he was like man it's just the, everybody is so nice the hospitality and obviously i didn't want to like in tree to be like yeah everybody's great here but it was yeah. really cool to listen to him in the background saying like the hospitality everybody has just been so nice and well that's something we're proud of you know yeah we really love to entertain uh our, our rock and roll metal family uh you yeah. don't get much better you know i don't think people that are not in it would understand but uh our rock and roll family that we have here in Dallas, especially Deep Ellum, is a really mm-hmm. tight group and a big tight net group. Oh, uh, yeah. It's really something special. The, the, it's like the same core has been hanging out for about 25, 30 years. <laughs> and we mm-hmm. see each other at every concert, every gathering. Everywhere. Every uh, We're helping each other load our gear. I mean, like, look yeah. at Jeremy. <laughs> yeah, all of a are, he's yeah. on tour, you know. Right. Mm-hmm. Loading some, you know, driving – you know, these guys, you guys around, you know, or whatever, whatever it takes, man, we band together. And, and, yeah. and that's kind of what, why we started deep Dallas radio to begin with was with, like, we yeah. were just such big fans and went to all these shows and we're like, you know, no one's really doing this. You know, there's promoters out there and they're, mm-hmm. you know, putting shows together so that they can take a percentage of what you guys make. Their heart's not in it. The, 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 their wallet is. Right, yeah, and exactly. that's <laughs> where, where. and that's the exact opposite of what we are. The only yeah. ulterior motive we have is that we want some extra time hanging out with you guys. Yeah. And, you know, we out. come together for the thing, music. We don't care who you voted for, what religion you are, what color you are. We, we all come together for music. That's what brings us yep. together. Amen. That's the special thing about our rock and roll family Amen. is it brings us all together, and we don't discriminate on. Again, well, as long as you like good music. If you like shit music, oh, we might have. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> music is the only thing we'll discriminate on. <laughs> Commonly. Rightfully so, though. <laughs> All right. I can't think of a better way to end the interview, guys. That's uh, wow, very well up. said, Christian. So. Oh, man. How did we. How that did... Is, that's usually the way it goes. We start hitting our stride right at that hour mark. Right about that hour mark. <laughs> yeah. Every time. <laughs> Well, definitely right. want to thank you guys both for making the time to talk to us. And hey, uh, thank we'll you. be promoting. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be promoting the uh, April 8th show at the Granada, the April 23rd out at Hangout in Roulette. And uh, we will definitely be keeping an eye out for any new music. So keep us in mind when it drops. 
We'll keep you updated. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much for coming on. Everybody, don't forget to like and subscribe. April 8th. April 8th. Let's see you there. It's going to be awesome. All right. Good night.